Hey, it's Robert here from robertcbrown.online. I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world today. Now, today's video is all about what you should look for in a spirituality coach. We're going to get stuck into the why, the what, the how, and of course, I'm going to point you to some support and resources if you want to dig even further at the end of this video. All sound good with you? Great stuff. Let's get started. Well, firstly, I have to say that the prerequisite for a really good coach is the ability to listen. And there are different levels of listening. Most of us in life have never known what it's truly like to be listened to fully and deeply by another person. The skill of a really good coach is exactly this. It's being able to listen to the client intently on all sorts of levels, okay? There are different levels of listening. I'm gonna get into those on another video. But to the point where they set aside their own agenda, they're not listening and then reframing it through their own perspective. They are just listening intently and they're blocking out all other distractions or judgments that come into play. Next comes the ability to remain impartial and set aside judgment. Now, I don't, I'm picking my words very carefully because I don't say that a coach needs to be non-judgmental and here's why i hear all the time the fact that you know coaches talk about the fact that they will not judge they're non-judgmental and i'm going to challenge that because it's my belief that it is an impossibility to not have some judgment of some kind on some level if you have any perspective on the world in any way. If you have any viewpoint, any perspective of any kind, then that is your angle of judgment. That is your judgment. The skill is setting the judgment aside. But to claim that there is no judgment, judgment is there because it comes from a set of standards that we have adopted or created for ourselves that are the kind of rules that we play by in this game of life. So it's an impossibility because they are the foundation of who you really are or a lot of the foundation of who you really are. It is virtually an impossibility to not have some level of judgment. I hope that makes sense. However, the skill is that a coach should be able to set that judgment aside and not allow it to cloud his or her performance as a coach. Now, if you are the client of a coach, you should always have that feeling that whatever you need to discuss and share, it will be treated with impartiality and that judgment will be set aside. But don't run away with the idea that a coach, no matter how skilled, has no judgment. Of course there is. The skill is that the great coach can set it aside and not allow it to influence his or her performance with the client. Another great indicator that you're actually working with the right coach is the fact that they're going to challenge you consistently and often to be the best version of yourself and to commit to things, to commit to getting things done. And then they're going to keep you accountable to those outcomes and make sure that you stay on track. It's so easy for all of us to kind of 
fall off the wagon, as it were, when we haven't got somebody there to keep us accountable. And the very best coaches out there make this a major part of the way they work with their clients. They are consistently setting new challenges to help the client continue to grow. And then they're also keeping them accountable to make sure they stick to task. It's so, so important. But the other thing as well is that if you're working with the right person, you're going to feel comfortable at all times to share everything that you need to share without fear again that they're going to be bring judgment into the equation. You know they're going to set that aside. They've got your agenda at heart, not their own. They'll never bring their own agenda into play. It's always about you and what your desired outcome is. You see, for a coach, what they want to help you to do in essence, especially a spirituality coach, is reconnect with who you really are on the inside, the spirit of you the essence of you. They want you to rediscover your greatness and step into it. It has nothing to do with them or their agenda. It is all about your agenda, you stepping into your greatness and you becoming, doing and having whatever the heck you want from life. And finally, if you're working with the right coach, you should really leave every session energised, inspired and motivated to take massive action in the direction of that which you want for yourself. If you're feeling any less than that, then perhaps you need to review the person you're working with. Because that really is the catalyst to everything happening for you, you know, is the ability to get emotional about things and excited. The more of that excitement and emotion you, you can attach to the outcome you desire for yourself, the more energy will be put into the manifestation process. OK, the more, in essence, that you get of that, the more you're connecting with your spiritual self. Because the stronger that connection goes or gets, the stronger your ability to manifest also becomes. And in turn, then you'll find all good things come to you much, much easier and on a much more regular basis. So it's really, really important that you work with somebody who's inspiring you, uplifting you and motivating you to really be the best version of yourself so that you become what I call an unstoppable force. Great, well, I, I hope that's helped. If you're looking for a spirituality coach right now, I hope that helps you find the right person for you. I hope that you get to work with somebody that helps you step into your true greatness so that you can be, do and have everything it is that you want for yourself and go out and do great things in this world of ours too. If you want more support or you've got questions, then by all means do get across to my website, which is robertcbrown.online. That's robertcbrown.online. Get on my email list and join my community of like-minded people who are over there all pursuing personal development and spiritual alignment and who are all really, almost to a person, dedicated to making a positive difference on this beautiful planet of ours. I'm sure that's probably you too. And if that's the case, you're going to fit in nicely and I'd love to welcome you over there. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'm here every day. Keep checking me out. Press the bell to get notified every time I do one of these videos and subscribe, of course, to the channel. In fact, you should do it the other way around, really. But subscribe to the channel. Press the bell so you get notifications and become part of the community over here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll, we'll, we'll enjoy the journey together. That's enough from me. Have a great rest of your day. Check you soon. Bye.